Welcome to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys what's on my iPhone. I've gotten a lot of requests to do this video and I'm super into like aesthetic and cute stuff. So I think that my iPhone is pretty cute. It's very organized and clean. And I spent like hours working on it when the new iOS 14 update came out. And I think it looks great. I'm super excited about it and I really love it. So I'm gonna show you guys everything on it and how you guys can make your iPhone look cute and aesthetic. Okay, so right when you open up my phone, there is my screensaver as you guys can see. And this is just a picture of me and my three friends, um, we went on a trip for one of my friend's birthdays and I really like this picture because it kind of is like really neutral tones and I feel like that's just kind of the vibe I wanted for my phone, just kind of like calm and clean and very like light and neutral. So that is my screensaver. Um, and then when I unlock my phone, as you guys can see, I did all the widgets and I really am obsessed with it. So when I swipe to the right, I have all the different like little widgets on this side and I just did a bunch of like light pink colors that all match because I thought it was super cute and I love like that rosy dusty pink color so I have the battery, the date, and I have this little rose picture that I found on Pinterest that totally matched all of the colors. And then I just have the little walking distance thing. <laughs> As you can tell I've gone 0.0, .0 miles. Very fit today. <laughs> And I have a quote that is one of my favorite quotes ever. Um, it's mindset is what separates the best from the rest. And it literally has changed my life. Changing my mindset has changed everything in my life. It's made me so much more positive And I feel like a lot more successful at everything in my life. So I love that quote. And every time I open my phone, I see it. And it reminds me that I can choose how my day is going to go by how I react to things. So I'm obsessed with that quote. I love it. And then over here, you guys can see I have the cactus little widget, which I think is super cute. And my theme on my phone is kind of like planty, earthy, and light pink neutral colors. Um, so I have this cute little, I have this cute little cactus watercolor picture with like little pink, and I think it's super cute. And then on this part of my phone, I just have all of my kind of like main apps that are like the the main ones that your phone comes with, like maps, weather, app store, camera, health, safari settings, and photos. And I just kind of put those all under there. And then I have the three kind of messaging main apps, like text, call, and FaceTime on the very bottom. And I think normally on the bottom, it comes with like mail and text. I'm not positive. You guys can like comment below what it comes with, but I changed it to those three because they're all green <laughs> and they matched. And I like things to match. Maybe I have a little bit of OCD. I don't know. But so I put those three down there. Okay, so then I'll show you guys a little sneak peek of my photos. <laughs> so here's some pictures of me when I was little. Very, very hot child. Just kidding. <laughs> I had a very weird style. I don't really know why I wore what I wore. But here's me with my friend in kindergarten with a shirt that says, good things come in small packages. I do agree with that though. Um, yeah, and then here's one of me in fifth grade with my braces and my very awkward face. I think that was probably like my first selfie I ever took. So yeah, kind of awkward. <laughs> but yeah, me when I was little, not the best moments that I've ever had. Then over here, I actually love this part. So I did all the cute little folders. Um, And basically what I did is I wrote the words on the folders and I spaced after every letter and I did it all capitalized. And I think that just makes like the cleanest, most aesthetic look. So I will show you guys what I mean when I say that. So when you just click on your folders, you can click up at the top, as you can see, and you can edit the words. So basically, I just did a space. So I'll show you guys an example. So I did like S space, capital C space, capital H, you know, and then I did that the whole way and it just looks super cute. And I feel like it just makes it a lot more aesthetic and I'm obsessed with it. So that's what I did for my folders and I think it just is super clean. I really love that. So then in my first folder I have my school photo, school folder, and I have all my school apps and I have a lot of school apps because obviously school's online so a lot of things are on your phone and you need a lot of apps. So I have the scanner app which I highly recommend if you have to like submit your assignments through like a PDF file because a lot of times in my math class I like do my homework on paper, but you have to submit it as a PDF. So I take a picture of the paper, but it's not a PDF. So I use this and it converts it to a PDF. It was really confusing, but I hope that made sense. And then I have my files, basically where I save all of my assignments. Calculator, obviously, you know, got to do that cheating. Just kidding. I don't cheat. I'm actually allowed to use a calculator. Don't cheat. It's bad. Um, and then I have my Google Drive where I don't even know why I have that. I think it just like saves stuff. I don't really use it ever, but yeah. Then I have Canvas. I don't know how many other schools 
use canvas but it's like um an app where we pretty much have all of our school that's where our zooms are literally everything is through canvas then i have zoom obviously because all of my classes are through zoom so very necessary app i have flipgrid i have to use that for some classes taking videos documents and then a bunch of random apps for other apps for my school but probably my favorite one out of those is the scanner app i think it's super super helpful and useful and then i have skyward which is the app where we have all of our grades so also how i did it is i put all of my apps in the folder and as you guys can see i took one app out of the folder and put the skyward there and then my socials i took instagram out basically you just take as many apps out as you need to make it fill that line i hope it makes sense it's kind of hard to explain but you guys can see on the screen what i'm saying then i have my socials folder where i just have tiktok podcasts amazon music among us i don't know if that's really a social but it's like the only game that i have so i kind of put it in that category pinterest youtube obviously my favorite app youtube spotify uh, youtube studio which is like the app you guys probably know if you have a youtube channel it's like you, all your analytics and everything is in there and then snapchat um and i really don't use a lot of these apps very much i don't really use pinterest very much i don't really use snapchat that often i love amazon music that's like my favorite app um but i'll show you guys my pinterest if you want to see it so yeah i just you guys can follow me on pinterest if you want it's like clara i think it's just clara i don't know if you'll be able to find it um and then i'll show you guys my saved i have travel decor yum fits and i really love all this food oh my gosh look at my food that just looks oh, that looks amazing i want to make that that just looks so good okay anyways that's my pinterest folder and then i have instagram which you guys should follow my instagram at it's claire's life youtube if you want or it's claire's life yt um yeah it's where i kind of promote my channel so if you guys want to hear about my videos coming out follow my instagram or just subscribe to my channel you know that works too um then i have editing folder and in this folder, I have a lot of great stuff. I get a lot of questions how I edit a lot of stuff. And this is basically how I do it. So I have Tezza. That's one of my favorite editing apps. I really like Tezza. Uh, this is the Widget Smith app. I don't know why it's in my editing folder, but that's like the app that you use when you are like doing all the iOS 14 stuff. Um, then I have these two eraser apps. I have Eraser and Magic Eraser. I'm pretty sure... I think magic eraser is the one you should get it's basically if you ever see like pictures and like there's i don't know how to explain it but basically you can cut out one part of a picture it's kind of like photoshop that you can like like if i wanted i could cut this lamp out of this like video and just have the lamp it's weird to explain but i like that and then i have lightroom which is the other app that i use to edit i think lightroom is one of my favorite apps to edit with it's super good i know a lot of people uh use lightroom if you guys have not seen my instagram you should again i posted this on my instagram um and this i basically edited this picture you can like selective healing you can do a lot of stuff so it's super nice super great for editing especially for instagram and then i just have my visco imovie which i actually edit my videos with and then canva which is super great for like collages all that stuff i love canva highly recommend that app and then we have contacts which are just basically things that I use to contact people. <laughs> I have my um, just contacts, Life360, GroupMe, TeamSnap, which is like a sports app. Um, then I have Gmail, WhatsApp, and Normal Mail. And those are just my contact apps. Not very interesting there. Um, oh, I forgot to show you guys. I also have this little rose widget smith thing. I actually used it, as you guys can see over here it's on this part but it's just my favorite i think it's so cute i love it i'll leave like the links to the pinterest pictures that i used down below but i think that's like the cutest rose i just love it and it really matches my my theme of my iphone and it's pink which is my favorite color so <laughs> i love it um and then over here we have that widget smith on top which is so cute it's like this little gold ring with like leaves on it and i think it's absolutely adorable i really love it and as you guys can see my background on my phone is like this leafy picture that i took with my best friend um so it really matches kind of like the green planty theme um here i'll show you guys my background so this is my background it's me that's my best friend if you guys have never seen her before she's amazing and yeah she's my best friend and then 
times I don't really know why I labeled it times I didn't really know what else to label it but I labeled it times basically I have like books bible um and then like just reminders and clock I didn't really there's just random stuff so I didn't really know what to label that folder but I've been doing the um read the bible in a year plan which I super highly recommend it's on the bible app it's free and it's like super it takes you through the bible and it explains it a lot I've only done four days so far but I'm obsessed. It has like devotional and it really explains things in like a very like nowadays type of a way, I think. So it's very easy to understand. And I really, really love that. And then I have Apple Books. Um, I don't know why it's not working. Anyways, I have two books on Apple Books that I've been reading. Uh, I'm reading The Night Olivia Fell, which is an amazing book. I really recommend that book. It's super good. And then I'm also reading One of Us is Lying, which is also really great it's like they're both the murder mystery books if you guys have never seen my videos and you don't know i am obsessed with murder mysteries i love criminal minds i love all the murder mystery stuff out there i love it i love any type of mystery but when you sprinkle like a murder in there it's 10 times better so and then down here we have the tools which is basically kind of like my junk apps that i don't really know what to do with so i have like the compass measure tips oh and then i have the fitness app and the watch app which are both for my apple watch so I love those apps, those are great. Translate, Wallet, Goose Chase. Don't really know what Goose Chase is, but I guess I have it. Let's see what it is. Oh, that was for like something in my marketing class. Um, then I have Notes and Find My iPhone and then YouTube Tracker, which is an app that I highly recommend if you guys uh, have a YouTube channel. Basically it tracks like how many watch hours you need and how many subscribers you need to get monetized and in a much easier way like on YouTube it's super confusing and it tracks it like on YouTube by hours and it's really hard to understand and like I don't know I feel like this is just a lot easier to comprehend so I like this it does it by minutes too and it's just a lot easier it shows like a, a graph of how far you are with your channel so I really love that I'll show you guys kind of what I'm talking about um, so basically you just click on it and it will show you like where you're at with your channel um, as you guys can see and how if it like fills and it turns green that means that you are complete and you can get monetized so that's super cool and that is pretty much my iPhone I really like it um, I'm super happy with how it turned out with all of the widgets and I think it's super cute and I think it's super aesthetic it really matches my aesthetic if you guys cannot tell obviously <laughs> pink plants that's my aesthetic so i love my phone i think it's super cute and i hope i gave you guys ideas to kind of like organize and make your phone cute because i feel like it just when you have a clean nice phone it just makes you a lot more productive since i do a lot of my stuff on my phone like school a lot of stuff on my phone and when it's clean and nice and organized i feel just a lot more productive and especially i love the widgets because you can put quotes and it really makes me inspired when i'm on my phone and I feel like I just get a lot more work done. So highly recommend getting your phone cute and getting widgets and stuff like that. I love it. Um, and that is all for today's video. If you liked it, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below. <laughs> okay, love you guys. Bye.